Gotta grind. We here. I'm doing 20 videos about uh, auto sales. So make sure y'all check them out. Um, repetitive. Constantly, continuously promoting, pushing, marketing, advertising, whatever. So when you when you upload the cars to the apps, you got to refresh them and repost them every three to four days. Because what happens is, if you put a car on there, other people putting cars on there, so yours gonna constantly go down, go down, go down. Then it might get on the second page, the third page, and the fourth page, and nobody's looking at really damn near the second page. So if you ain't on the first page, you really ain't getting no shine or, or no recognition. So you got to make sure every three, four days you reposting. And not only that, you got to post different cars as well. Because these apps are so smart. They have technology within them that recognizes the picture. So it can say that, well, this is the same picture. So we're not going to really just put it back on the first page. We're going to keep it on the second or the third page. So a lot of times you got to just post different pictures of different cars. Or if it's the same car, just take numerous pictures in different uh, areas. So so the computer can't recognize that it's the same picture, if you're following me. But um, a lot of times what I tell people to do is... If I got this certain car, then just upload another car that's kind of similar to it or whatnot, same color, something like that, and just put it up or whatnot. Um, a lot of times what you also need to do, which is a good idea so you know who buying cars, is put out bait cars. And bait cars is what uh, I, like, I actually don't have, but I'll put out a bait car put a certain price range like 2000 to 2500 to see how many people are gonna hit me write their names and numbers down and then I'll go find the car that they looking for real fast call them see if they want to put a deposit down if I go get the car for them or whatnot and if they don't want to do that if I already got a car I can put them in for close to that price and I can make some money I'll go ahead and do that because at the end of the day you can always go get more cars. So why miss out on a $2,500 sale when you wanted 3000 for the car if you're going to make a nice profit? Like, if 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 I'm selling a, a $3,000 car and I'm fixing to make damn near $2,000 profit and I sell it for 2500 but I make a $1,500 profit, I'd rather make that $1,500 profit go get another car than try to wait on the $500. I ain't got time for that. The name of the game with me is to flip as many cars as I can and make as much profit as I can in as minimal time. Not trying to hold on to no cars because I see it. Now I want 3500 and if you ain't got 3500 it ain't moving. See, I ain't that type of person. If I want 3500 you can come with the 28 I'm dropping it. You know what I'm saying? You come with the 25 As long as I'm making a profit, I'm dropping it. I put that profit up, go back and give me something else again. Now, you know, it got to be a good profit, though. It ain't a $100 profit ain't going to do anything where I can make a profit, honestly, over about $500, I'll go ahead and let it go. So, not only do you have to deal with the apps, the four apps we talked about in the first video, also, you got Instagram. You got your regular Facebook page. Then you got a Facebook business page. So now we're talking about seven, eight places where you can promote advertising, get people out there to bring in an audience. We're talking about everybody's on social media. People can barely drive without their phone. They can't sleep in the bed without their phone. They wake up and grab their phone. So you got to take advantage of this shit. I'm taking advantage of it right now because I already see how much I lost by not taking advantage of a lot of stuff when I was 22 that I wanted to. Like, I wanted to buy stocks in Facebook and in Walmart, but I bullshitted. Never did. You know what I'm saying? And I added up the money that I would have made off of Facebook. I had $3 million right now off of goddamn me $15,000 investment. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I ain't, I ain't doing no more stupid shit, no fucking more, man. Like, and I spent, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I spent more than 15 grand on fucking cars and rims, dog. You hear me? And, and, and now that motherfucker sitting up in the back of my yard, I still got it. But at the end of the day, that could have been $3 million. So we got to stop doing stupid shit. I, I've done my fair share of it, and I think I got enough of it. But, um, you know, uh, other things, I'm trying to think of some different things I could tell y'all about the car business. Also, when you posting these things, make sure you put a, a good description in uh in the post you know just don't leave it blank fill out all the information that you can or whatnot if if you help helping me selling cars and you don't got the all the information from me then just kind of you know what i'm saying fill in as best as possible and then you know uh hit me up or whatnot and i'll help you as much as i can or whatnot uh so i'm looking for more people who want to help sell cars that's one business uh the next 20 videos i'm gonna do gonna be like on construction and real estate which is gonna be a combination so be looking forward for that or whatnot um but right now on while we on the autos if you seriously want to make some extra change hit me up bro this shit's so real bro like I, I don't know what i can do to tell a nigga you know what i'm saying i was telling niggas about the music business that i was making a half a million dollars four years ago and they're still looking at me crazy even though literally i'm the only nigga in my city riding in fucking a rolls royce and i got two of them that one two i'm the only young black person riding in a bentley the only one and i got two of them <laughs> I'm, I'm the only i'm the only person i ever seen in shreveport with a fucking lamborghini keeping it real you know what i'm saying only got one of those and um plus i got a maserati i done seen maybe three or four maseratis around or whatnot so you know but they they the ghiblis and if you if you know anything about cars the ghibli is like the cheap version they just came out with recently so everybody can afford that you can go get one of them for the price of a fucking cadillac you know what i'm saying so i i don't really count that because the maserati i got it's the Quattroporte, you know what I'm saying? So like that's the 150k version. So it's it's a it's, it's a big difference, you know what I'm saying? So and I ain't seen. I think I might have seen one of them, you know what I mean? And uh, but you just gotta understand uh, everything I'm doing: music business, car business, real estate. I just got into construction last year big payoff sick figure payoffs man i, I want to give out some free game i do i just want some people who ready to work for it so i can get some out of return because the time and the effort and the money i lost to learn this shit you wouldn't even much understand man you understand what i'm saying I, I lost 30 grand to learn the music business i ain't just learn the music business i lost 30 grand to learn it trial and error so that's why I, I just can't give a nigga no free game to help a nigga out. You ain't been through I've been, you ain't seen what I seen, so you wouldn't know what I mean. So either you can work or pay. Ain't no other way. The only way. You understand? So and that's the same thing with this real estate. I I, I ain't lose no money really on real estate, but I spent a lot to learn. You know what I'm saying? Like at one point in time I was buying houses for fifteen thousand, twenty thousand. Now I know how to buy them for four thousand. You see what I'm saying? But I, I remember when I was buying them for fifteen thousand. That's just like cars. I remember when I used to look at cars. This before I knew about like dealers' lights. I always heard about it, but I never knew how it worked. And um, it it just was. I look at cars and they'll be like seven thousand, eight thousand. I'd be like, oh, I could afford that. You know, I was just, I was just, you know, working back then. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I can get that eight thousand. Oh, I knocked that in four, four, five months. Not knowing, you know, years later, I would find out that these eight thousand dollar cars really only cost seventeen hundred at the auction. Fifteen hundred. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So as you learn, you grow. So I and I never got. I, I'm not mad at the people who, who before I knew 
who sold me the houses for 15000 because that's part of business. You live and you learn, but after you learn, then you move on and you continue to progress. So, you know, salute to them. I, I still, I'm still friends with them and everything. I don't expect them to tell me how they get in the houses and do that because at the end of the day, that's what they in it for, to make a profit. But now that I know, you're not going to make a profit off of me no more. You can go make it off to other people, but not me. No, sir. You understand? So that's what it is. Baby Savage got a grind, man. We working.